Hello everyone and welcome to another video. All the NBA game ones have happened and what I want to do is just to recap the NBA game ones just to see how I think the series is going to go. If you're excited for the NBA playoffs, make sure to like this video for more NBA playoff content. Let's hop right into this. So the first game was Magic versus Cavaliers. That game was very boring if you're not and like into real hoops and even then it actually was boring if you are into real hoops because the magic can't shoot any threes and i don't know what they're gonna do in game two but i don't know i looked at that game and i saw orlando they seem kind of nervous i don't know if you know it's the playoffs it's the first time they've ever been in the playoffs pretty sure the whole team has never been there it's actually very foreign to them i think orlando's gonna lock in and they're gonna play better basketball down the stretch i don't think that the, the inability to shoot threes is definitely something that's gonna affect them throughout the series but I think Paolo and Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, all those boys are going to play much better um, as the series progresses, especially in Orlando. I think game three, they're definitely going to like lock in and win the game. But I say Cleveland wins this in six. I just see Cleveland's experience. They've been to the playoffs or at least the play in just a heavy postseason experience environment a couple of times. So, you know, Donovan Mitchell is also playoff performer for many years so I, i'm picking cleveland for sure but it was interesting to see orlando in their first ever playoff game in a very long time or at least since in relevancy because i think they probably made it as an eight seed back in the day but maybe five years ago or something but who care about that right uh next game we have the timberwolves and we have the suns now the timberwolves they play some good basketball i picked the suns to win this series but the timberwolves told me to shut up they said we them boys uh, uh, iconic moments anthony edwards you know talking his talking his mess to kevin durant kevin durant he love hoops he's just laughing back because that's just you know passing of the torch uh you know i don't know i'm, I'm looking at game one and I'm, I'm not gonna overreact but it looked like timberwolves definitely have a, as legitimate shot as ever to win the series but i mean the experience of the suns and the timberwolves have experience because they've been to the playoffs but like the suns the kd um devin booker i think they're gonna lock in i think i picked the suns to win and won the series in seven to be honest with you uh I don't know. I just feel like the Suns experience and experience is so important in the playoffs. So I think you'll catch up. But at the same time, Anthony Edwards is balling. It can go the other way, man. But because this 30, this 30 point was legit. Like that was like his last year. 30 point games were good, but he wasn't going to beat the Nuggets. But this year he really got it. Um, the next game was Nick Sixers. If Joel Embiid plays the entire series, it's going to be very hard for the Knicks because Joel Embiid is an absolute scoring machine. Um, Jalen Brunson didn't have a lot of points. I think it was more of a effort where the whole team was doing their job, but it's going to be hard for the 70. I mean, it's going to be hard for the Knicks to handle Joel Embiid, but Mitchell Robinson had some big minutes and helped, but I mean, Joel Embiid is going to be tough. I picked the Knicks to win. I think the Knicks are a better team. And I just think Joel Embiid has these injury issues and he got injured. I mean, he may play. I assume he plays the next game or maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, but I don't know. I feel like the Knicks are destined to win this series i think they're a better team and i think jalen brunson were due for a big jalen brunson game and there's no environment like that in new york madison square garden them boys love the people love the knicks man so you know i'm hoping for the knicks to win that series man because i'm rooting for the knicks i really am um the next series nuggets lakers that's a series that probably be most watched with the mavs and clippers nuggets lakers the lakers had a big a pretty good sized lead you know they never really took advantage of it obviously because the nuggets got their run Nikola Jokic, he's the best player in the world. And that's just a fact. Like, he's the best NBA player playing right now. And when I look at the Lakers, it's just like they're not good enough. They're just not good enough to beat this Nuggets team. This Nuggets team is a well oiled machine that's centered around the perfect offensive hub. Like, this guy is the best offensive center since Shaquille O'Neal. So, and he's the best playmaking center in the history of basketball. So, you know, just to, you know, 40 year old LeBron and Anthony Davis, who's up and down. And then a bunch of guys who are very inconsistent. They'll have their moments, but it's definitely, you know, it's just, you're, you're not good enough. And I think the Nuggets win this in five. You're just not good enough. And that's simple as that. The next series is the Celtics and Heat. The Boston Celtics definitely should win this. Like, no Jimmy Butler. There's no issue. The Celtics are a completely deep super deep basketball team and they have a social media team that does their graphics and their graphic game is on point i mean their graphic game is a, that's a 73 win team their graphic game is just like undefeated like if you look at their like social media and the editing and all that bro like the edits they make it's undefeated they're the best team in the league so boston should be in the nba finals and beating the heat y'all should beat the heat in four it shouldn't be no they should have no wins no wins they should be, you should win in four 
The Heat are, you know, really scrappy team, but without Jimmy Butler, bro, it shouldn't even be a problem. Should be done. The next game, Mavs, Clippers, and hey, Lewis, you know, Lewis, he on the body, big Mavs fan. And, you know, we don't overreact to anything. You know, obviously they got blown out. I'm not going to overreact. And like the Clippers going to win it for sure because you got to make adjustments, right? But looking at that game, I mean, James Harden turned the clock back. And one thing about James Harden that is not talked about a lot is in, in his game ones, in the postseason, his game ones are really good. He's pretty good in the beginning of the postseason. Towards the end is when he struggles. Game six and seven, he's not to be trusted. You would hope Kawhi is playing. But in a game one, especially a game one, he's going to play very well. Like he's well rested. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to do his thing. Russell Westbrook played well. Paul George played well. Defense was really good. And I mean... It's not gonna be an easy series, man. Like without Kawhi, it sucks. But I don't know how long Kawhi gonna be out. Maybe for just game one, or maybe for a couple games. But the Clippers just home hold court, home hold home court, and you'll be fine. Um, and Dallas, Jason Kidd gotta make adjustments because Ty Lue, we forget Ty Lue's one of the best coaches. I mean, in the 2021 playoffs, he was coaching his butt off. He was the best coach in the league at that point, the way he was coaching. And he's only I assume only got wiser. So. Um, it's definitely going to be something. It's definitely going to be the battle of the coaches. This series to me is going to be who's it's the battle of the superstars, the Kawhi and Luka. Whenever the, you know Kawhi comes and play, it'll be battle of the coaches who can outsmart the other coach. The next game is the Bucks and the Pacers. I actually had to think what game that was. Damian Lillard had 35 in the first half and zero in the second. But I mean, you got your job. You got the job done. Like who cares, right? Um, the Pacers. People thought the Pacers were winning six, but I know Doc Rivers ain't the best coach, and Damian Lillard does not have plot, but. Is the is Pacers team has they been to the postseason before? I, I don't think so. I mean, I think the Bucks still have the ability to win the series in six games, right? Uh, I think the Bucks. I think the Pacers will give the Bucks a challenge, definitely without Giannis. But I think they'll be fine. I don't know. I, I don't think the Pacers are going to be good enough in this series to win. It's just it's too weird. Well, the Bucks, yeah, I got this. Please don't choke it. Um, in the last game, Pelicans versus the um the Thunder. It's so weird. It's so weird to see the Thunder in the playoffs without Westbrook or without KD. They're the one seed. Like, it's so crazy. Like, how is that team the one seed? And it's a good team, but it's just like you would, they, they feel like they should be a five seed or something. Like, how are they the one seed? That's crazy. That's development, though. Um, and at the end of the game, I'm like, bro, give the ball to Shea, right? The game getting close. New Orleans getting closer. I'm just thinking, bro, just give the ball to Shea, right? Like, if you're the guy here, if you're the MVP candidate, you got close. And he closed. He hit a big shot. Uh, they barely escaped, and the Pelicans are going to give these boys hell. Like they're they're a team with experience. You know they're usually a late seed, late rounded team, a team in the play in. But they've been in the playoffs for at least three or playoffs slash play in for a good amount of years. And they took Chris Paul's sons, Devin Booker, you know, sixty four win team, I think to six games. So it's definitely going to be not easy for this Thunder team. They're definitely going to have to grind this one out. I think they win in like six games or even seven. They're definitely gonna have to grind this series out, man. But I think the Thunder should definitely advance. So hey, those are my that's my game one recaps, and that's what I think will happen. Just how it bases off the rest of the series. If you want more of these um, playoff type of recaps and playoff analysis, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel and say in the comments you like these, man. I'm it's chill to do these, right? So I'm definitely down to do it. My Rockets aren't in here, so I'm just sitting watching and enjoying. But hey, if you want more content like this, make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.